In this awesome new video by the On King, we are going to teach you how to set up your decks by classes, by missed questions, by whatever you want, without actually moving them to a different deck. We're going to use the custom filtered decks for this. Now, the reason for this is there's a very popular website, medshamim.com. It's actually awesome. I learned a lot there. And he advises people to use this combined current deck for the material that you're using right, learning right now and the combined review deck for the stuff that you're uh, already have learned just to kind of keep it focused but the problem with this is you move things out of the deck you can't put them back and a lot of people have issues with that now i'm going to teach you how to do this and there's a few things i'm just going to give you a little hint up front the shift key when you hold it down means or and i'm going to show you what this is on anki when you use the command or control key that means and when you use the command or control plus the alt key that means not just a couple little hints i'm going to show you right now how to do it Okay, I'm going to show you how to do this. So you, as you can see, I just leave everything in one deck and click that deck and study it. Uh, and in fact, I haven't changed anything. You can tell these are just the decks the way that they are set up. I don't set up the combined current and stuff, but I do, however, have custom filtered decks that I use. Uh, now, the first thing I'm going to say is I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend you're on the V2 scheduler. It works way better with the custom filtered decks, and we have a video on that that I would recommend because there are a little bit of a hiccup when you update to this. Uh, it, it, it could, anyway. Definitely go watch that movie first uh, if you haven't. And then uh, I, we have a video on the custom filtered decks that I would recommend as well. That's what we're going to use here. Now I'm going to show you this add-on that I have filtered. This one, create filtered deck from browser. That one I'm going to use here in just a second to create the filtered deck. So I'm going to go into the browser and you can see I have all my cards here. Now for missed questions, I have been tagging all of my cards by missed question. You can see I've actually tagged what they're for and stuff, but all of these cards. So I've got 149 cards. Those are cards that are extremely important, things that I've missed a topic on and I don't want to miss again. And you can see it puts that into the browser here. So I'm just going to create a filtered deck based off this search using that add-on. Now you can see it adds this is due to the end. That means that anything with that tag that is due today. Um, so it's just going to pull it out of your main deck and let you do it. Now I'm going to set this limit to 99999. I want it to give me all the cards that are due today with that tag. Now, if I deleted is due, so it was just that tag, then I could uncheck this reschedule cards because then I would just be basically cramming all 149 of those cards. But there's no way that all of those are due today. So I just want to reschedule and do is due. And I'm going to set this to most lapses. You can choose however you want to do that. And I'll click build. And you can see it pulls everything out. Uh, there's 12 cards there. And I'm going to rename this to missed questions. So this is now something that I can really focus on. Those are like high yield stuff for me. Now I can also uh, pull out things that are pertinent to the class that I'm in right now. So I can use the tags or I can use the decks and it's going to be a simple process. Now I'm going to show you uh, what I showed you with the shift key and the command and the alt key. So I want to find all of the cards right now with a uh, cardi we're in the cardiovascular renal respiratory unit. So I want all cards in the repro deck, or sorry, renal, respiratory, and cardiovascular. So I'm going to click that deck, and then I'm going to hold down the shift key and click renal. And you can see it adds an or in between. I'm going to do it again with respiratory. And then I want I don't want any of the missed question cards because those were cards I wanted in a different filtered deck. So I'm going to hold command or control and alt and click missed questions. So it, and then it puts this little minus sign in front of that. So it's saying we don't want any cards with that. All right, so I want to find, I want to create a filtered deck based off of this search. And same thing, it's going to add is due. I'm going to limit it to 999999. And then you can set this to however you want. I'm just going to set it to random and we'll click build. And so that is my current class here. We'll rename that to current class. And then we have this other, I don't know why there are so many here. Let's see. I'm going to go back in here and it looks like we may have made a little mistake. So sometimes when you have a long string of things, you got to go to one end, just like you would with math, and add a parenthesis. Then you go all the way to the other end and you add another parenthesis. So we want all of that stuff that is due today. And I'll click rebuild. There we go. That looks a little bit better. So uh, just as an FYI. So there's my current class, and then here is essentially, that's my combined review. Now you could make a separate filtered deck for that if you really wanted to, but I don't know that it's that important. Uh, but I will show you that last, I showed you how to use the shift key, and I showed you how to use command alt, but you can also do, if you wanted to do 
missed questions that are in the cardio unit, you would click missed questions and then hold down command for cardio and you can see there's 13 cards. And you can see this one's filtered because it's due today. So just a quick and easy method. The last thing, uh, I'll show you another handy little add-on here. Let's see, empty, rebuild all, empty all. Uh, it just adds these two buttons down here at the bottom so I can click empty all and it will empty those and then the every morning and the uh, and I get up I click rebuild all and it puts those cards back in there so it's just a quick and easy way for you to focus on the things that you want to focus on uh, best of luck thanks for learning with the on king be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel here as well as follow us on facebook instagram or patreon that is at on king med also feel free to reach out via email or check out our website onkingmed.com for more tips and tricks